problem three. The original number of male athletes to female athletes in an, at an event was 19 to, to 12. Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of hiccups right now. Oh, so mind me if I uh, pause as I speak. This year, the judges decided to add some more female events, causing the number of male to fe athletes to female athletes to become 20 to 13. Okay, so we first have 19 to 12. That's at first. And then we have, uh, uh, we have um, 20 to 13, okay. And then we have another ratio. After that, they added some more male events as well. So then the ratio became 30 to 19. We gotta scroll down. 30 to 19. And we also know that the amount of female of, of male athletes to join after the new events was 15 athletes more than the number of female athletes to join after the new events. So did you get that? Like they added two, they added new events two times. So what is the total um, amount of athletes? First, if we're going to compare ratios, we need to have a value that doesn't change. So let's try to find the equivalent ratios of these three. Um, of these three ratios. So first we know that from, from ratio one to two, um, the number of female athletes changed, which was the second column over here. But the number of male athletes did not change. So we were trying to find we were trying to make 19 and 20 the same number. So 19 and 20 have an LCM, the least common multiple of 380. So it would be 380 to something, hence number two would be 380 to something as well. So 19 times 20 is equal to 380, so 12 times 20 is equal to 240. And we know that 20 times 19 is equal to 380, so 13 times 19 would be equal to, well that's 260 minus 13, which is equal to 247. Okay. And now for the third ratio, we know that the girls didn't change. The women did, the number of female athletes didn't change. So this would still be 247. So what is 200? So what did you have to multiply in order to get from 19 to 2? Okay, so from here to here, you multiply 13. So meaning you have to do the same to 30 as well. And you get 390. So here are our three new ratios. Okay. And we know that from here to from here to here, we added we added seven units, right? It's that. And from here to here, we added 10 units. units. So we know that the difference between these two additions was 15 people, 15 athletes. So 10 units and 7 units. How many more units does 10 have? 3, right? So we know that 3 units in this case is equal to. 15. So that piece of um, that piece of information was especially given to tell us the correspondence between units and athletes. 15 units represents 15 athletes, then one unit represents 15 divided by three athletes, which is equal to five athletes. All right, now we're trying to find what is the total amount of athletes here after these two changes. So what is the total amount of units then? Let's look at ratio three, and we have the sum of 390 and 247 times five. So 390 plus 247 is equal to 637 times five, and we get, let's see, 3,185 athletes. 
the 3,185 is our final answer.